Hello, everybody. Recently, I had the great pleasure and honor of presenting at Stamping Up's on stage event, which is our annual uh, convention, um, presenting this particular bundle, which will be in this new catalog. I hope you're just as excited about seeing this new catalog as I was when we got our hands on this during convention. Anyway, so this is the stamp set that I was presenting, which comes with the stamps, the dies, and a set of uh, stencils or mask, if you will. So this is the card that generated quite a bit of interest. And I've had some requests to see um, in a detailed format how I created this card. And so this video will show you how I created this card. Um, this is what I call a messy watercolor look. Um, so if you are the sort that prefers, you know, exact same cards, maybe this isn't a technique for you. But if you enjoy having messy fun, then this is something that I'm sure you'll enjoy. As you can see, they look all different. There is not one card that will be the same. And I just love it. Okay. It really captures the essence of a watercolor look. Okay. And it's very simple, and I will show you. So let me um, bring out the supplies and uh, explain to you what you need to make this card. First of all, you'll need some reinkers, and these are the colors that I selected. I have uh, soft sea foam, which is my preferred go-to base leaf color, uh, granny apple green, and for the flowers. I chose the base to be petal pink, flirty flamingo, and then the accent is pumpkin pie. Now, for this technique, because the water color is going to be seeping through the whole project, um, I would suggest you um, choosing colors from the same quadrant, okay? So that even if they um, bleed into one another color, it won't give you a muddy look. This is our color wheel. Don't you think this is wonderful? I hope Stamping Up decides to um, uh, um, put this out as a supply item so that we can um, benefit more stampers, right? So as you can see, flir um, Flirty Flamingo Petal Pink is right next to each other and Pumpkin Pie is not too far away. So it is kind of the same quadrant. So I know the colors will be fine, okay? So that's all you need to know. Oh, and then gray granite for the final piece, okay? So let's get started. Oh, and then of course, watercolor paper. Uh, for best results, watercolor paper is necessary because if you use a regular, even a thick white cardstock, it might be too wet, okay? So let's get started. So the mask come with a notched edge, which allows you for easier placement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on here and affix it with washi tape. That way they won't, the two pieces will stay together and not run away. Let's see here, there we go. So let's make sure it's aligned. Okay. And I would probably do another one down here. Okay. The key to having better results is to make sure that there's not much gap between the mask, the stencil, and the paper. So you'll constantly need to be pressing down. So I'm going to start with number one. And that will be my petal pink. There you go, petal pink. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put a few drops onto this block. Now this A block, I understand, is going to be discontinued, which is I'm so sad. I'm gonna definitely have to uh, stock up on this because these are great for little stamps. Okay, and since this first stencil is for the wide open flower uh, base, I'm choosing a thicker or a bigger brush, okay? Bigger brush, 
and uh, let's start playing. So I'm dabbing this. And again, the key is swiping it this way. That way um, there's better chance of keeping it within the image, if you know what I mean. So, okay, that's probably not enough water. Let me dab some more water. Okay. And there you go. It's actually a very relaxing process. Now see with this one, I want to make sure that as I'm going, I'm dabbing it dry so it doesn't have any um, unnecessary leakage. Okay, but even if there is, that's fine. Okay, so that's all there is to it. See, I'm not being very precise or specific how I'm brushing this. Probably need some more water. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit smoother. Okay, and I think I need a little bit more. So, just, this is a great use of reinkers, by the way, to do this watercolor technique. Okay, and here again. I need a little bit more water. I mean, don't be afraid to use what's on the stencil too, because that's good ink that you can use. Okay, and then with the little dots, so you want to make sure you press against it so that it confines itself within the cutout. dabbing again and then feeling wiping up the excess because we don't want any ink to go to waste and we've got some last minute so I'm pressing down notice I'm pressing down so that okay and then I'm cleaning up okay uh, let's see I think just a little bit more So now, dab, 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 okay, making sure it's dry. Okay, see how easy it is? There's, this is, I call full watercolor, right? It's just a really simple way to get the watercolor look. Okay, so I'm done with that making sure it's dry. Oops, sorry about the. And then I'm going to take the mask off and put the second one on now. Oops, there we go. And the other way. There we go. Now, this doesn't look very pretty, does it? But bear with me. We will see the final project pretty soon. Okay, so that's the first one. So we're gonna do the second one. So again, I'm putting this on here, making sure it butts up against the same corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and push this here. And here, okay. So now we're ready for the second color. So I'm just gonna wipe this clean and bring in Flirty Flamingo. Okay, that seems like a lot, but we will see. So now let's get dabbing again. So I've got my wet brush, grab some color and start coloring it in. Oops. As you can see, sometimes it does go in, but that's okay. It's okay. Because the colors are complementary, it won't create a really weird look, a weird color. Okay, 
think I have a little bit too much water here. So again, the key is to play. I mean, the whole point of this technique is to play with it because as I said, there is no same card. No two cards are the same. See, I'm trying to press down as much as possible so that it doesn't lose its image, but it is fine. Trust me. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. So this one again, press down. Press down. Press down so that you minimize the leakage. So again, just dab, dab. I think I've got it all, right? Okay. So wiping this off, getting ready for the third color. Oops, that was it's done. As I said, you're probably looking at this again saying, oh my goodness, is it really going to show up well? Trust me, it will. So let me move this away. And now the final piece for the flowers, number three. So as you can see, that's what you'll be doing. You're just repeating it with each of the stencil or the mask. Okay. So this one, I'm going to use pumpkin, uh, pumpkin pie. Okay. So this one, I don't need a lot. So just a little dab. And I'm going to change it into my thinner brush because as you can see it's a more um, thinner detailed and it's more dry I'm not going to make it too wet okay so there we go so dab 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 so I'm trying to get all the little ones first so I don't forget it Feel free to fast forward because um, a process will be the same, but I did want you to see from start to finish that that's how easy it is. Right? I didn't do this already. I forget. That's okay. We'll just add more color if I forgot. And this is such a forgiving technique because it's not. Um, dependent on precision. Okay, almost there. Okay, let me see how it looks right now. Aha, a little bit better, right? Are you seeing some of the form the form flower forming okay, again it's probably just a blob right now to you so let's switch gears and make the leaves so we're going to start with number four now so number four now sometimes these masks don't actually align properly so feel free to kind of readjust it like you know how this one's like this so anyway, but then again, as I said, this is not a precise science um, project, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe off my pumpkin pie and bring in my um, soft seafoam. 
I'm going to need a lot of that, I think. So I'm going to use my bigger brush, right, because it's a bigger area. Okay. So again, pressing down on the mask so you minimize the seepage. Even if it seeps out, it is fine. Okay, I'm going to wipe this down. Maybe a little darker here if you want. You can certainly go back again. Be a little bit darker. I feel this is truly a fun watercoloring technique because it really gives you that watercolored look. It's very impressionistic. So I think that's it. And uh, the last step, well, not the last step, the last water coloring step. Okay. So it's, and then this is number five, which is the last one. Okay. And this, because we're doing detail work, I'm pulling out my thinner um, brush tip and I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. Okay. So there we go. So, because this is fine, so I'm going to just dab a little bit. So again, this dab, dab, there we go. It's almost like the stencil is guiding you where to color, right? Really mindless. I mean, you could be watching TV while you're doing this. up the uh, Hallmark Channel and uh, I mean my goodness we all know what how the story is going to end so but we just want some noise in the background when we're watching the Hallmark channels right so there we're almost there bear with me all right Okay, so I think I'm done. Let's just take a peek and see if I've missed any point part. Oh, I think it should be fine. Okay, so let me kind of dab this dry. And so the magic happens is when you ink up this line image and press it on here. I've chosen gray granite to give it a truly watercolor look. So I'm inking up this with gray granite. Okay. Just making sure 
everything is dry enough. And just want to make sure that I've aligned it well. Okay. What do you think? I think that's it, right? Again, it's not f f science, so it should be good. Okay. And voila! There is your watercolored rose. That wasn't too difficult, was it? So if you have any, so like, yeah. So this might be a little wet, but that's fine. Um, I'm happy with that. As I said, no two are going to be alike. So this is the one we just did. And here's one that I did um, a few days ago. Okay. Again, it's just all different. There's This one's got a little bit more modeled look, right? Here's another one. Oh yeah, and the final part that I always like is this truly gives it that hand-drawn look when there's actually paint splatters. <laughs> getting some on myself there so that should work so that in a nutshell is how I created my messy faux watercolor look so I hope you will have a stab at it and have some fun coloring this and uh, do tag me when you do something like this so that I can see what yours look like it'll be fun to um, share and um, share this with everybody right okay so thank you again for your interest in this technique it was a pleasure presenting this and um, I hope to see your work soon too all right thank you bye